people would want to be remembered, honestly, for her bubbly personality, positive attitude, her support of her teammates and friends. Um, and I think that's, as a team and as a coach, that's what we'll most miss about her because that's what made her Nicole and that's what made her unique. So she'll be sorely missed this year. All right. Uh, Nicole was probably, probably one of the sweetest people I've ever met. You know, even if I had never run track with her, just knowing her as a person was a privilege because of how sweet and kind she was. But from a track standpoint, she was also, and she was, she even, even as a freshman, she became kind of a leader on the team. And her, her energy and positive attitude were always very welcome. That was one of the most memorable things about her was, was she was always smiling, always trying to make other people happy. And that's probably the thing we'll miss the most about her, is that kindness and giving and the way she tried to make everyone else feel good. Nicole Gallo was always someone that was very upbeat, very outgoing, and always had a smile on her face. Yes, fun-loving, um, always made people happy when they were down, and her famous saying, like, when you have a problem, you put it in a bubble and blow it away, and she would come up to you and, like, get on her knee and make you get down on your knee, like, you had to do it if there was any type of problem. So. You have to close your eyes and put all your problems in the bubble, and She always has a smile on her face. Always. Always better than a cold man. Like, you always saw when she's bright and mad at you. Yeah. yeah. She's very optimistic. And I would say that if I had to remember as someone, I'd say she was a very good mentor to someone. Because we had a lot of girls that would come in and try and talk to her throughout the year. She'd always listen to you. Yeah. No matter what you had to say. Whether it was dumb. Even if she had, like, no way of helping you, she just wanted to be the one to listen. Mm -hmm. And just help you get it off your chest. Uh, the first day when I finally got to meet her, she I came home from volleyball, so I was really gross and sweaty. And she walked up to me and actually more, like, ran. And, like, jumped on me and gave me a hug and told me how excited she was to meet me. And, like, just seeing her then gave me the first impression that she was going to be happy and she was very bubbly and just open and a loving person. Yeah. Yeah, always. I remember meeting her and being like, oh, I heard you're going to be on the track team. Like, yeah. I'm going to do track too. And, and she was really excited. Didn't even know me. Didn't, I don't think she knew my name. <laughs> I was like, yes, I'm so happy. Too bad you got the same name. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember specifically the first time either, but like when we first started really talking at track, like I thought... I actually thought she was like older. I thought she was like a junior or something, just the way she went around like helping her. I thought she was like half being around everyone the night before. And like we both did the hurdles, so she like we spent a lot of time together with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So we were on the relay together. always wanted to go to Japan or China. That was one thing I know she always wanted to do was go somewhere like that. <laughs> she always wanted to like excel in everything she did, like sports, like she school, did. just like meeting yeah. friends, like anything she wanted to do, like she just did it. Like didn't let anything get in her way. She was fearless. Mm -hmm. before track meets we'd have like 6 a.m. breakfast and Jerome would set about four alarms and never get up at any of them and Nicole knew he wasn't going to wake up and she'd be calling him and I'm sitting at the breakfast table with her and she's like I have to go wake him up and like this happened every single track meet where we were going away. Nicole would go make him a bagel, put jelly on it, get his juice and then be like does anyone have a key to funk and would run and find someone with a key to funk and run in his room, bring him breakfast, wake him up like, and then got him on the bus and make it in time to leave. Even for practices, she would have to do that. Mm -hmm. He slept through some of it. She knew that she had to go wake him up before every practice. And she wasn't even like, oh, Jerome. Like, she was just, she was like, she had to get him so up. so happy to wake him up, you know? Uh, hi. Uh, Nicole was a really good person, like, in and out. Um, she always put people before herself. Um, she always had a good thing to say about everybody. Um, she had the type of smile that whenever... She's seen you, like, your whole day just got so much better, no matter how bad it was. And she always knew exactly what to say. Uh, she helped me a lot through through school and through track. Uh, she's a really good teammate. Um, she, she's 
she always had this thing, uh, probably everyone else probably said it, that uh, this thing about putting it in a bubble and blowing it away, which means like whenever you have anything bad or anything that's really, that's really bothering you, to uh, just put it in a bubble and blow it away because thing, life, life is always going to get better. Uh, two things might happen that's bad, but if you just relax and put it in a bubble and blow it away, things will get better. Uh, she, I don't know, she's just a really good girl, like, she just, she was just,